like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all. So in order to meet YouTube guidelines, I have to re-upload my videos with more commentary included. So we're going to be taking an extensive walk down memory lane on my channel through all of the events that have occurred. It's an interesting look back for myself as well. So thank you guys for understanding and thank you for your support. Please drop me a comment. Give me a like and share if you can. Thank you. Bro was talking about dating 400 pounders. Live Instagram cut my live out. Um, I swear they just got these uh dudes at the office just watching me. Like, if the conversation gets to a certain point, they just hit it. Like, they hit the live right at the point when dudes say he gonna date a 400 pounder. I go, ain't no way. He go, I go, would you date a uh. A uh, girl on crack or something too? Cause he's talking about he'd date anybody trying to hear his truth. You hear me? Bro talking about he had date a girl on crack. Come on now, man. Hell no, bro. I don't want no toxic bonds. If your ass is lost in the sauce and ain't fighting no good fight, ain't no point in being around me because you're gonna have to put some effort in. I'm not gonna be caught up in no damn dope thing. So for those of you who do not know who that guy is, that is Yaken. Yaken is a polygamous man out of California. He currently has, I believe, four or five wives. He's also the guy that Velvet left Solar for. I ain't finna be caught up with no 400 pounder who obviously live a lifestyle I can't get jiggy with. She obviously too lazy and eat too much of the wrong shit. She ain't got no business around me, man. You gonna be around me? Spiritual warrior lifestyle. You gonna be around me? Truth. Yeah, I'm back live. Papaya went in my DM and she said, go back live. So I had to go back live. Papaya's watching me from the kitchen. You did. Papaya's watching me from the kitchen. She said, y'all can and steal my God forever. That's good. Um, spiritual warrior lifestyle. Let me see. Who want to build? I'm still open for the build. I'm still chopping it up. Let me see. Bro, where you at? Let me see. Cause we gonna be okay. God's not finished. Papaya bullied me. Papaya wrote me, kept writing me, said, go back live. What happened? Go back live. So I'm back live. Yeah. Yo, hold on, can I? Yo. Are you sending an email? Are you sending an email? Yeah, just give me, give me like 10 minutes. Ah, uh, uh, come on, man. Talk that talk. I was just, I was just laughing. Oh. I was funny as hell. <laughs> Bro, you seen the nigga say, uh, he gonna date a 400 pounder? Black and out. I asked bro, I go, would you date a girl on crack? You hear me? You see that? Yeah, he's talking about if she support the mission. Oh, so squeaky. Yeah, hello. What the fuck? Brown Pa. Grandson. 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 They don't hear me. It's cool. They don't hear me. They heard my voice. They go off.
All right, y'all. So for those of you who are not aware, Aaron Dixon actually authored a book. It's called Greatness is a Habit. Most of you may know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member and he's authored this amazing read. Guys, if you're into self-improvement and overall growth, this book is going to be a good read for you. It's available on Apple Books, and it's only a dollar, guys. I got my copy, and I am enjoying every single minute of it. They were, oh, they were, just, watching, they were just watching the laugh. Oh, word. Yeah, they was laughing with me. That's hella funny. So go ahead, do your thing. Shit, hit me up. All right, man. All right. Yeah. So like I said, I'm still open to build, man. Y'all drop some drop some questions or we were talking about some shit last live. We can elaborate. You know what I'm saying? Like say I came in here and joined me. <laughs> you gonna talk? <laughs> you got something to say, let's say? Yes, it is my guy. Mm, okay. You said I ain't never answer your question. What's up? Talk to me. Twin flames, what's your take? Uh, okay. Well, oh yeah, I do remember you was talking about that. I didn't know you was asking me though. I thought you were talking to somebody about that. All right, so I got two takes on what I seen you talking about. On one level, you were talking about monogamous relationship. Can two people fall in love with each other? Is that good, basically? Yes, I believe in monogamy. The only way you get to the poly life is through successful monogamy first. So, you know, you got to be able to have a successful monogamous relationship, and I and I believe in that. Now, a separate note is twin flames. No, I don't believe in that. White people made up twin flames, and by defini definition, a twin flame ain't nothing but a survival partner. A twin flame ain't nothing but some low vibrational survival starter packet by definition. It's somebody who, who, that's what I was saying. It's bad. It's these it's these matrix relationships where the motherfucker like. They get together to, to complete each other on a particular level of life. That's lazy. You get what I'm saying? It's like, okay, I go to high school. I go to high school in Paris. And somebody else go to high school in Paris. And then both of us come move to California. Now, and all of a sudden, we twin flames. Because, look, I'm in California now. You in California we doing a certain similar thing. We twin flames. That's weak. That's called, y'all got common interests, and that's called about somebody in your motherfucking way. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because your real person ain't finna be no twin flame. Your real person gonna be your leader. Your real person gonna be a breath of fresh air. I'm gonna teach my queens that you're not looking for your, your equal. You're looking for the man greater than you. You're not looking for some man common to you. That's wrong. You're supposed to have a man. It's like this. God, man, woman, children. You understand? God, man, woman, children. Right. So a twin flame is like some man that's like equal with that woman. Why would she? Why would my, I don't want my daughter dating no man she equal with. That's almost homo activity. Yeah, that's weird. That's weak, huh? That's gone. <laughs> that's damn near dyke and homo activity. <laughs> Cause it's like he's gonna make my daughter. It's gonna make my daughter have to be more of a man than she's supposed to naturally be. I don't want my daughter being no man. I want my daughter to be a flower. I want my daughter to be in her feminine energy. Yeah. And I don't want my daughter feeling like she gotta be something she ain't. I've seen my past lives, ETC. It was crazy. Talk to me. We got split up to get here. I actually experienced this. That's why I want to see your take. Right. So you saying you feel like you and dude was dating each other in the past life. And then y'all came into this life and y'all was twin flames. Is that what you're saying? And anybody here, we could build on the subject, you know what I mean? If y'all want me to address anything. 
So you heard his woman just say, Yakin is my God. All of his wives and women say this. I'm not really sure why. It's really weird to me, but they say it repetitively while he's on live or even doing little short videos. I don't think being a twin flame makes you assume a certain gender role. I do. Can somebody put the, the definition of twin flame in here? Can somebody drop the comment? with the definition of twin flame in here. We can't have we can't have multiple soulmates. See that's what I'm saying. She said we have multiple soulmates. Queen. How Hello. We multiple soulmates? How we gonna have multiple soulmates? Peace. You got one soul. So now nah, so look, I'm I'm I was talking back to the 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 mythology story. So I don't know if you've heard it. Like the twin flame story where it was like Zeus split up each soul as a basically like as a punishment, right? He was mad at us and like he split our souls in half to like we had to go through the cycle of having to keep finding each other in each life. And some lives you wouldn't find your twin flame, or in some lives you wouldn't even get to be with your twin flame and like all this other stuff. But it's deep. It's like you want to know um, what I think about Zeus? Hello. Um, can they hear me in the background? I don't want to be too. Can they hear me nah, in the background? You, got, you, got. Uh, you want to know what I think I, about Zeus? No, no, I, no, I have. But, oh, you got him. Go ahead. I'm <laughs> I mean, I'm just bringing up that specific story. I'm not saying, like, I'm just basing it off of that. I was just, like, for the people that no, are asking, like, what is your point? No, that is a good point. That's and why, stuff. Like, this that's is why what, I'm against it. That's yeah, a great like, point, though. That's why I'm against it, because Zeus is a deity, is he not? Ain't Zeus a, a deity? Shit. Ain't I, Zeus a mythological figure? He's supposed to be a deity. The people that believe in Zeus think he real, though. Mm -hmm. I, so for like me, the Greek gods and stuff. Like, right, so for me, mm -hmm. that's just like that's just like somebody going, um... Um, tell me what they Hindu deities is talking about. I don't care about they Hindu. De to me, all they deities are devil. Mm -hmm. All those things that is coming from these deities is some slowing me down in my way. Of course, Zeus gonna tell somebody that they twin soulmate is they real soulmate because he part of the lie. See, I'm I'm only speaking on it because I've actually personally experienced it. So I don't speak on nothing that. You know, it's just something I was taught, or this, because I believe that this, like, I read this story, or not. Nah, like, I actually got to experience it. And Your I'm twin flame, yes. And I'm currently with my twin flame, and I have been multiple lives. And what's y'all perspective on the twin flame theory? Me personally, I don't believe in it. I believe that your person is out there. And that person is going to just get you. They're going to understand you. They're going to accept you for you. They're not going to want you to change anything about yourself because you're going to be perfect in their eyes. It's like then why he ain't your soulmate? deeper, it's why deeper you don't feel like than your just... Soulmate? You said what? Why you don't feel like he's your soulmate? Why you feel like he's your soulmate? Nah, family? see, this is the thing, though. I've met multiple of my different soulmates in this life, too. I We have... You know, you ever seen like karmic soulmates and like all these different things? We have, I feel like, relationships that we meet in certain lives for different reasons. So, like, for example, if there was a lesson that I was supposed to learn in this life to be able to ascend, um, and me and this person were both went through, you know, this life together and we had to learn this specific, um, like lesson to together and we didn't learn it. And then in the next life, we find each other and we actually learn it. Like, I feel like with different people is meant to teach you different things, you know. But I don't believe in that. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe in that. Uh, this, let me tell you what I believe. You got one soul, mm -hmm. and the soul can be in multiple bodies. So, like for instance, um, the man he got is him and his wives, so they can all be one soul. Now. Your soulmates, they should have the same dream and visions as you. So your soulmate got some kind of dream and vision, the same vision you got. And if so if I'm dating somebody and who who I am and what I'm doing in life don't align with them, but just one part do, like for instance, I was just talking about that. So let's say I'm in college and 
because by what you're saying, you're saying I can have a soulmate who go to my college. We just supposed to get this this journey together. I'm saying I don't believe in that. I'm saying that my soulmate will be for my entire picture. The person I'm dealing with in college is just really, it, it's really negative. It's really just in my way. I don't believe it could be a soulmate. I believe my soulmate would have my entire picture, my entire vision. It'd be some in them like, yeah, I'm I fit into your whole story. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like that. I feel like even with you, like maybe you are with all, all of your soulmates. I, I believe we have multiple soulmates. It ain't just one soulmate, but it is just one to inflame. Like, cause like even with me, when I had my reunion and like my whole shit opened, like I actually got to like experience it. And it was definitely like, uh, like I couldn't even thank God enough for getting like that download that I got. But overall it was it was more so like i used to not believe in shit okay let me tell you from where i came from so you can understand where i'm at like i used to say that literally reincarnation wasn't real like all this shit like i didn't believe in shit then i actually like god started showing me things in my life because you know the brain only downloads information when you're ready to receive it so like i literally like until i started working on myself healing healing certain parts of myself then i actually started like unlocking certain information then i was like oh shit like it, it was crazy but no i like, I like that that's good yeah i like that but like that. more of the story though i feel like that's why i went that's why i worked because it's like where well, everybody is different right like how you were speaking on like every man isn't worthy of being even in a in a polygamous relationship because not all men have DNA that should even be replicated yeah. and like all this stuff. So it's deep. So I feel like, right. To add on with what you were saying earlier, right. Mm -hmm. I believe that's why it's some people that have like twin flames, but I believe we all have a twin flame. I, I believe we all have a twin flame because I do but believe my twin that flame, your twin flame. I'm trying to say, I'm telling you, your twin flame is against you. Your twin flame is your top op. I've had I've had women I would call my twin flame. Why would you say it's your op though? Because usually a twin flame is a mirror of your own soul, and usually right, when two flame relationships you. don't work, it's because it's a, you're not willing to fix it's your. A, no, life. it's a mirror of a challenge of a level you were in in life. That's what I'm saying. The twin flame is somebody equal with you at some point in your life. So at some point, like for instance, at some point in my awakening, I was a street nigga at some point. Then mm -hmm. I'm awakening, I'm a I'm rising above being a street nigga. So then mm -hmm. I got a twin flame. I got this girl who it could have just been a street girl, but she was rising above that. We like equals. But that's not twin flame though. Twin flame is the other half. Because that's why you think so. you in love. That's why you think you in love. You think you got something in common, wrong or right? You said what? That's why you. Y'all think y'all got so what do y'all have in common that make y'all twin flames other than a common game y'all playing in life? Nah, y'all both up against the same game in life. Nah, it's, That's why they call it's not even flame. that. It's, it's really like the other half of your soul. So it's like, yeah, we, 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 okay, when we're born, right, we feel like we're missing something, right? And women try to look for love or look for lust or men looking for. Bless her little heart. She up here really trying to convince Yaken of this twin flame theory when he has already said he does not believe in that at all. Multiple women, whatever. We, we, we feel like we're missing something, right? Yeah. What a lot of people don't know is that we're half a soul right now and you're missing your other half and that's why you feel like you're missing something. But what you're missing is really your other half. Like, rather that multiple halves, or one half, you feel me? Because I also believe Geminis are born with their twin flame in one person. That's why their zodiac sign is two people. And it's like, they're born with their twin flame. So the same way there's people that are one person and that are one full soul, there's people that are half a soul. There's people that are soulless, you feel me? So it's like, I feel like that's, that's the, uh, like, it's only toxic with your twin flame when you don't do the inner work to be with your twin flame because but it's not, that's the whole point I'm making. Mm -hmm. One of them gonna lose the game. Yeah. Not if y'all both putting in the work. 
Cause, but cause it's about it's about don't... your own mirror to your soul. So it's like if I'm seeing something in somebody else that I don't like, it's probably because I don't like that within myself, and I'm still healing that. But if I actually do the work to heal myself, now that doesn't bother me anymore because I've actually done my inner work. So I feel like it's always a chaser and a runner. But if y'all both on the same shit, that's the only time that it actually worked. But the, it is, that's why it, it's known that a lot of twin flames actually don't be in a relationship because it's a mirror of your soul. A lot of people not ready to do that's that. Your soul pop that's the one going to break your heart. You said the, the what? The one that's going to break your heart. <laughs> that's the one that's going to get you off track. That's the one slowing you down. Uh, he said. 1,000. If you agree with me in the chat, drop a motherfucking diamond or something. But nah, I like I like picking people's brain and I like seeing, you know, the different perspectives out there because we all on this journey and at the end of the, at, at the end of the day, like like I said, God only give us what we're ready for when we're ready for it. So like even through my experience, I speak on my experience because I've seen it help other people too. You feel me? Like again, everybody like everybody different, you feel me? So everybody got their own experience that they're meant to have. So it's like it's I, am, I don't want to say too much. So I'm over here like Nah, but, I feel you like I feel you like no a twin flame. It felt like love. I had a twin flame before and I've seen twin flames like um potentials and stuff and like I just feel like man, that's somebody it's like this, it's like it's the game of life. I'm being challenged with something on my own. They're being challenged with some. We are in a game of similar challenge. We get together. We play, We fight in this game together. But the thing is, neither one of them are above the challenges. So it's like, since they play in the same game, they actually become ops. Yeah. Even from the bottom of their heart, it's like they're trying to help each other, but you can't help each other when y'all caught in the same matrix. Right. So it's like, it's like a, it's like a catch-22. It's like, Cause your real your real soulmate gonna be in a different game than you. Yeah. You did. That's how we can get, help get you Cause that's your real soulmate supposed to help you. The girl supposed to be on a different frequency, playing a different game. The man supposed to be on a different frequency, playing a different game. Yeah. They come together and help each other, like two missing pieces of a puzzle. Yeah. You did. So yeah. Y'all believe y'all with that twin flame shit? Let me know. She'll be in my lives in a few months. Talking about twin flame ain't work, baby. <laughs> I'll be here when the smoke clear. I'll be here when the smoke clear. My bad. Um, my shit fucking sight. But um, <laughs> so nah, I just like picking people's brain because like I said, you know, we all on our own journey and we all got our own experience that we meant to have to get where we need to be, you feel me? Because we still here, you feel me? So we all have a, our own divine purpose being here. And, rather and that's what I 100% think about what you're saying. It's like you own your journey and that's why you're dealing with that person. But I just want to say to anybody listening, I feel like you got one soulmate. You can have many twin flames. See, we be saying the same thing, but backwards. Like, <laughs> you talking about many soulmates, one twin flame. I feel like twin flames could come a dime a dozen. The soulmate but see, the, the definition of twin flame, right, is something amongst the words of, like, it's literally the other half of your soul. So it can't it can't be you have multiple some things because it's only one piece that perfectly fit, fits your puzzle or whatever. And it's crazy, but it's like, even with that, like, I, I called one of my soulmates, you feel me, my twin flame. This was before I actually met my real twin flame, right? And... I remember, like, I was I was just so in love that I was like, yeah, like, this got to be my twin flame because I'm so, like, you feel me? I was gone, you feel me? But then when I actually met my twin flame and we had our reunion, it was spiritual. It was beyond, like, nigga, my third eye opened. Like, I could see my past lives. I could see the last body I was in. Like, 
it was it was deep and okay has anybody experienced this like what she's describing because i've never experienced anything like that so it'll be interesting if that ever happened to me but I don't know. I'm still very skeptical about the whole twin flame thing. It wasn't something that I had with anybody else. And it, it was it wasn't something that I know I could have with anybody else. But overall Did y'all see who just joined the live? That is none other than Velvet. Yes, Velvet. She about to get in this live and shoot her shot at Yakin. It's gonna be so funny because this is actually right after the time that her and Solar, well, after she threw him out of her house in Ohio, she went on live. You know, you you guys will see. I'm not gonna spoil it. If you haven't watched this video, I don't want to spoil the experience. Like even with the whole soulmate shit that I was telling you about, I knew I wasn't meant to be with my twin flame until it was certain stuff that we healed to be able to come together because it's always a runner and it's always a chaser. And like, that's why you was like, it's always going to be somebody that loses in that game because yeah. it's always somebody trying harder than the other. But yeah. that, but it's kind of like, even with ourselves, the journey within ourselves, like the more we fight ourselves, we, we fight in ourselves. Like it is until that we become one with ourselves, one with our mind, our body, our soul, the universe, like peace, love, unity, respect, all that, that, you actually could be like, okay, now I like I understand certain things that I wasn't even in the capacity to understand. You feel me before? No, hundred percent. No, hundred percent. I'm with you. And uh, talk to me, Queen. You I like to chime in. Yeah. Peace to everybody in the room, right? <laughs> Awesome. This is a great this is a great topic because um I don't know your name queen but I've had Taco a twin flame. Huh? It's Tiani's, but go ahead Tiani's. Tiani's. <laughs> Tiani's. You have a beautiful smile nevertheless, oh, right? And she pretty and she beautiful. <laughs> she is. <laughs> look at that smile. But look, this this is the point that I want to make. I have had a twin flame journey ever since I can remember because of the fact that I feel like women naturally, like if, if, if you're a whole woman, naturally you're gonna be looking for your God. You're gonna be looking for your king, period. Mm. So as far as I can remember, you know, being on my journey and my experiences, I've come across these quote unquote, what you would call, or, or in my mind, a twin flame. These twin flames have literally been the, how do you call it? It's just disgraceful. Who y'all think she talking about? Could she be talking about Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, and Solar, a.k.a. Sassy Solar, a.k.a. Courtney? <laughs> who do y'all think she's talking about? I'm willing to wager that's who she's talking about. It's distasteful. It's disgrace. It's the, it's the downfall of me, literally. Okay. And these twin flames that I've come across, I don't even want to call them twin flames because they're not a twin. They were the twin. A... The twin flame is only a twin at a certain point in your life. Look, these niggas ain't shit. Period. Okay. <laughs> and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, <laughs> going back to what Yakin said, as far as it being man, woman, then child, God, man, then woman, then child. I respect that. And that's what I have always been pushing forward in my journey. That's why people always see me with a man. Cause it's like, I'm, I'm, I need my King. Like, I don't, I don't care about what's going on in the world and how everybody feel about relationships and shit like that. But I know the new world that we've been ushered into. And I know that our children need a man that's going to stand in front of them. Not only preach the truth and speak the truth, but live it. And Y'all, I wonder if Velva has changed her perspective because she's saying here that our children need a man and, you know, basically, long story short, she needs one too um, in order to, I guess, breathe or survive. That's hence why she's probably been in so many unhealthy situations and unhealthy relationships. So I wonder if she's changed her perspective since this video. Most of these men out here are not doing that. You would call them these beta niggas, whatever you want to call them, whatever you want to call them. But they not, they not, they not doing what they supposed to do. So it's like, 
Okay. Uh, a, a man who is in your life, who's not pushing you towards the truth, who's not pushing you towards um, healthy living in any aspect that is and giving you a healthy environment in whatever aspect that is, that's not a man that's helping elevate you. That's a man that's keeping you stagnant. That's a man that's keeping you in the very hell that you want to get out of, that you want to elevate from, literally. So it's like, bro, I can't, I can't fucking Nah, I, 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 it's deep. It's deep, for sure. Oh, deep. Like, and I definitely feel where you're coming from, but that's why I was saying even with the whole, like, Tom Flame journey, it's really like, it's the, the grass is greener where you water it, right? So the same way, even with ourselves, when we don't love ourselves, when we don't do and put ourselves in the best environment to grow, you know, what happens? We become stagnant. That's even true for ourselves. So it's the same even when you're in a twin flame relationship or any relationship, even in a friendship. If you're in a friendship and my friend ain't, you feel me, really my friend helping me grow or talking behind my back, you feel me, doing whatever, like, it's, it's not going to be beneficial to, to any party. So I think that goes for really with any relationship. Well, that go back to what we're saying because people call, they say they got friends, but they just have people with a common interest. It's like, okay, this girl I like partying with, me and this book girl like partying together. That's my friend. Really, they not like-minded at all. They just like partying together. This my friend right here, we like hiking together. Really, they just like going to hike. They just have a common interest. Yeah. This my friend, we read books together. It's cool. Y'all read books, but ain't like-minded at all. Y'all reading books, it's a called a common interest. So, that's another thing, too. I think twin flames and, and quote-unquote friends with common interests, they really in the way. Nah, I, 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 I'm going to disagree with you all that. <laughs> it goes back to, like, it just depends on what what's the word that you put into it. Because, like I said, it, it's, it's times where twin flames don't even be together. Like, you yeah. could be married living a whole life with one of your soulmates, and then, you feel me, you end up finding your twin flame 40 years down the line you're like fuck it's too late to be you feel me or whatever like it's it's deep i'm but... sorry i'm not settling fuck that, fuck that. <laughs> right i'm and not settling because that's guess what point. i'm at an old i'm at a that's the point i'm at an all-time high within my own growth i don't have time to be babysitting a grown-ass man that's supposed to be leading me i'm supposed to be quiet i'm supposed to be sitting there quiet on, but i'm talking huh? that's not come okay on mm -hmm. come on now and that's why I'm saying, like, look, if you have no friends at all, then once you start having people to have common interests, you're going to appreciate mm -hmm. them and you're going to treat them like a friend, but right. you're going to get burnt because right. they not a friend. Mm -hmm. They just got a common interest. Yeah. And it's the same thing. If you ain't had the real love in your life, you ain't had your real soulmate, you're going to get these twin flames and treat them like your soulmate and right. you're going to get burnt at the end. Now, I definitely agree with that because, like, mm -hmm. remember how I said earlier, like, when I was first going on my journey, I was I was calling somebody who I thought was my twin flame, twin flame, and it ended up that that wasn't even my twin flame. And then I actually met my twin flame, and I was like, "This is the difference because the love, love is is more pure. It's more genuine. A lot of people use their knowledge sometimes for things that are evil. You feel me? There is such things as using good knowledge even for evil because a lot of people you you feel me? So it's like. I felt like with him, it was like that. I felt like he just knew the type of person I was and he knew I was very deep into like spirituality and stuff. And I feel like he used that as a way to conquer me. Uh -huh. And then when I realized this isn't, this isn't, you not who you say you are. Uh -huh. Like, this isn't real. Uh -huh. Like, then when I met the real, I was like, oh shit. Like, this <laughs> is what it's supposed to be. Like, this is the real love. This is like, you feel me? Like, the grass is greener where you water it. I really agree with that. And that goes within ourselves, too. Like, I feel like that's why Twin Flames, it is, it is a, um, I seen somebody you might make be, a comment may I, here. You might be with your soulmate. May I? I, per, I personally, go ahead, King. I was just going to say, she might be with her soulmate. She might be calling him a Twin Flame. Yeah. And, and, and with all due respect, you know, we all are on our own individual journeys, you know, but I personally feel like anybody in my life, whether you consider them a twin flame or not, if, if, if there's toxicity anywhere, that's not love. Love doesn't thrive in toxicity, period. 
And toxicity is on many levels. Living unhealthy in, in any kind of way, being around people you're not supposed to be around, doing things you're not supposed to be doing. And we can go into the detail of that, but I just personally feel like love don't live in toxicity. And if, if you're in a toxic relationship in any kind of way, in any kind of way, whether whatever it be, that's not love. That's 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 going down the wrong path. My nigga, like Back that's bad. Back like hey, period. bro. Hey. My bro got a good question here. He said, <laughs> how do you navigate a time when your girl or girls is mad at you? Now, let's talk about that. Y'all queens, right? Now, <laughs> how you going to be mad at the king, though? What did he do? So my question for bro is, first of all, also, are they mad at you because you did something? Or are they mad at you for no good reason? Because that's a good question. That's a very crucial point in this question you asked me. Are you saying your girl is mad at you for no good reason? Or are you saying your girl is mad at you because you actually did some fuck shit? I, come on. I like that you said that because a lot now. of men don't actually admit when they do some fuck shit. A lot of men have this like ego of like, if I do it, it's, it, it's cool when I do it. It's probably yeah, no, not that's weak. That's, right? weak. that's weak. <laughs> yeah, that's weak. So let's talk about it. Oh my God. Very clear. Make it very clear, my brother. Because if you did something, bro, she better be mad at you. You better snap on your ass. I feel like the only time <laughs> I'm going to be mad at my king is if he do some fuck shit. If you doing some fuck shit, I'm going to call you out on it. And if you it's causing see that, I, like, I got to move on. That's And that's essentially what happened. Niggas, I saw these niggas was fucking up. I'm telling them that they fucking up and they ain't want to take responsibility. I'm going to keep it moving. But... That was a definite shot at Solar. Shots fired, Solar. Every every guy that I've ever been with, nothing but love. And women, too. Nothing but love. Like, I respect people. We, oh, we respect people. So it's like, get mad for what? We growing together. Ain't nothing to be mad about. My girl would be mad at me because I may have been flawed or at fault for something I've done. And I want to come back around. Oh man, nah, you played yourself, player. Uh, <laughs> I I feel like ain't no turning around. Ain't no second chances. You either get it right bro, or you don't. Bro, I feel you, like people show you what they truly want within the action shit, at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, Velva is talking all this tough Tony shit. However, it was Solar that she reached out to when she realized that Yakin was not as interested in her as she would like. <laughs> Bro out there, he's a ladies man. He probably doing stuff. You ain't living a poly life, and then you probably breaking the you code, feel me? bro. You can't break your girl heart, player. She got the right to be mad at you, and and you know what I'm saying. You gotta you gotta treat that girl with some respect. If you're gonna do a monogamous relationship, you gotta go ahead and chunk it up, respect. hold her down, tuck that dick in your pants, player. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, practice oh. self discipline. If you live in a poly life, then live a poly life, bro. But nah, you can't be breaking hearts they, out here, bro. Hey, these niggas be lying. They be like, this is what they do. This is what they do. They say, I'm polygamous. And then they, behind closed doors, be like, yeah, I just want to be with you. I just want to be monogamous with you. Then cause confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, then have the other uh, woman. Because uh, they want to have the other uh, too. Uh, then have the other woman uh, confused uh, in the mix. Because now he talking about the queen behind her back to the other women. And now that's creating jealousy and all kind of other shit that don't need to be there. Right. Be honest, my nigga. Period. Right. Now, like, like, now, what you saying? That's called fuck shit. So, if a dude doing fuck shit, he deserved to take some flame with that. But oh, bro, bro, saying nah, he not cheating on nobody. He's saying he just at fault. So you saying you just ain't, you ain't one hundred. You just ain't the person you want to be yet. So you just got flaws in your character. So basically, you know, what I'm saying you be doing goofy little shit that probably be turning her off. Nah. You in particular lying or nothing but you just be doing little shit basically and then she can only take so much of your little shit you be doing is that what you're saying not no real, real deal lying or not no cheating you know you just basically do goofy shit and that's a good question for the queens how do y'all take i don't, don't got with time men? for no goofy shit <laughs> ain't no goofy shit ain't what no goofy she shit said. ain't no goofy shit what she said ain't no goofy shit and basically. i'm with the queens on that one bro what I'm she with the queens said queens on that one bro like you got to step your game up, bro. I feel you like that's not, only, the only the girls can do that. Because as a man, that's already tough for me, dealing with goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? 
And I got to chunk that up sometimes as a man. Like, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to teach, I'm going to teach. But you can't have no girl in that kind of position where she got to chunk up all this goofy shit and then try to teach you and be in her masculine energy trying to guide you and turn you into the man you're supposed to be. You got to be motivated to become that man you're supposed to be, bro. And if a girl can't take it while you dating her, bro, you got to let that girl fly you in the way. She got a man... <laughs> She got a man she need, bro. Don't be in the way, man, just because you pretty. Don't be in the way you're trying to get that pretty thing. Yeah, I'm about to leave. is my guy. Did y'all hear Velva say, y'all can is my God, y'all can is my God? <laughs> she was really definitely trying to piss Solar off with this live for sure. Guys, and thank you so much for uh indulging me on picking picking your brain and stuff no and peace feel, to you no queen good. i love no your good. energy i love you i love you um, um yeah no I, just be honest that's that's the moral of the story be right. real with who the fuck you are oh, that's it like right he must have yeah 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 ken is my god appreciate you queen now, y'all know when Solar, a.k.a. Sassy, a.k.a. Courtney, heard her say, Yakin is my God, he was somewhere punching the air. I guarantee it. Ain't no goofy shit around here. Fuck that. We, 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 we trying to get shit done. I'm so tired of niggas with these excuses. You got a whole bunch of excuses. Like, get your shit together. And you wondering why they got one man with all the queens. Well, there ain't enough men. These men ain't doing shit with themselves. And that's real. I'm getting tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. Y'all not doing what the fuck y'all got to do. Step into your, your godhood if you want a queen. Fuck out of here. Or right. Else. Right. Right. And then that means humble yourself. Like, if you feel like you're not in a space where you could be who you got to be for the woman, then you should be celibate and you should be building your character and building yourself. I remember when I was on my journey and I was having my awakening, I wasn't dating women. I had, I had a girl friend at the time and then once we broke up i was single and i focused on getting me together and i was celibate and then i attracted and manifested the wives who loved me and saw me for who i was but i had to put the effort and the energy in and already walk my journey i think sometimes the dudes just they go well shit i know what i want and they just i know i'm handsome enough or i know i got the money and they like they don't take the time off to go, you know what? Even though I could get a lot of pussy right now, let me not, not be indulging in that and let me just build my character. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think probably bro is talking about. And that's what he needs to do. He's a good guy. He's a smart guy too. Um, but he just may not be where he needs to be in life on certain levels. And then you dating girls and then they getting turned off at certain points and you want them not to get turned off, but it's natural because they want you you to be that man you really got the potential to be but you may haven't become him yet he's in there so then you find yourself selling dreams because they see the potential and then you talk to them about the potential now you're selling dreams and now you might start selling dreams and shit and then it's like you can't live up to this dream you letting her down and that's a lot for a woman to go through bro you gotta go on hermit mode Especially when she growing. growing. You got to consider you gotta the fact hermit that... Mode. You got to really become who you meant to be. That's for my brothers out there. Don't... Just because you handsome or... You know what I'm saying? Some people got the look. Some people got the money. Some people got the swag. Some people got the finesse. Some people got the conversation. All right? Just because you got certain qualities you know girls like, that don't mean use it to your advantage and be trying to get your way. Sometimes you got to humble yourself, bro. And that right there should have been Velvet's first red flag. The fact that she's trying to have a conversation with Yakin and he keeps cutting her off, talking over her, that should have been a concern to her. Um, you know, jumping from Eligio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Three God, to Avi's father, then to Solar, and then to Yakin is just not a good look. She needs to take some of this advice and be alone for some time. Find herself, heal herself, and then be open to something with someone else. Oh, you trying to go live, my brother. My other bro trying to go live, my brother. Don't sell nobody no dream.
My other brother was talking. Yo, all right. Step away for a second. I, I'm coming late. I'm kind of late on the conversation, but I, I hear you. I hear like I'm reading the comments. They talking about like uh, uh, this niggas be goofy and shit like that. Right. This is a good subject matter, man. You talk about this kind of stuff, right? Right. I was talking to my other bro. I tried to get him to go live, but he had sent me a live request. I guess it didn't work. Let me see. He sent me another one. But I want you to talk on the subject too, because me and you talk about that about character building, taking the time out to be the man that attracts the right women, right? Right. <clears throat> okay. My okay. Brother. How's everybody doing? Yes, sir. Talk to us. <laughs> um. Okay. So they I on your ass in here. Pardon me. They on your ass in here. <laughs> I can't. I can't hear you, brother. Oh they yeah, yeah, yeah. They came for me. They <laughs> they <on your> ass. <laughs> yo, yo. Hold on. I just want to say. I just want to say first and foremost, brother, you're doing such an amazing thing right now. Um, you're really putting people on, man. And like, including myself, I'm out here just listening. I'm like, yo, this guy, I remember when I met you in LA and I remember the conversations we had, that was so impactful, bro. That was life changing. I remember. And, um, and man, just coming back to it now, I feel like, you know, full transparency, full transparency. I'm gonna say this out loud. I feel like I lost my frame to an extent as a man. And, um, I think I totally agree with you. I feel like. I'm definitely at this place where I know the potential of who I can be, but I definitely just get, like, there's there's a gap. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. There's a discrepancy. Uh -huh. I need to climb. Uh -huh. right? And uh -huh. I, I feel like that's only going to come with, um, like you said, celibacy and only going to come with um, taking that energy back and working on myself. So I definitely got to humble myself in that, like, you know, I'm hearing you speak, bro, and I'm hearing the shit you're saying. I'm like, yo, I got... <laughs> I I'm got, talking to your soul, brother. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, and and it's 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 so relative because you know I'm with my friends and shit, and I think I'm all that, but then I'm here and I'm like I gotta humble myself. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. Now you see how Yakin is able to have an actual conversation with the men. Again, another red flag that Velvet should have actually paid attention to, because you know clearly he views in my opinion, women as less than in some way, somehow he feels that he said it himself. He said there's God, man, and then woman and child. I understand that philosophy. I agree with that philosophy. However, I don't believe that there's a hierarchy in that structure aside from God. That's why you willing to do this. That's why you see it and you hear it. And you got the potential, bro. Everybody ain't got the potential. And some people that do won't never even uh, expand. They won't never even walk their path. But somebody mm. like you, you mm. know what I'm saying? You're going to go in hermit mode just like my brother right there on the live. Mm. It's all a journey, bro. Mm. You got to think. I put years and time into this. You know what I mean? Mm. Really building my character and being who I was meant to be. I did vows of celibacy and did a lot of studying and did a lot of stuff. And I feel like if a lot of y'all do the same thing, bro, y'all be invincible, man. You be exactly who you think you are. Mm. Yo, I totally agree. I totally agree. So, so what I wanted to say, so this is my question, okay? Mm -hmm. So, are there ever times where, like, you know, I'm about to be so vulnerable right now. I feel like everybody's watching me here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good, right, bro? bro? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yo, what, what, what are you saying, brother? How you doing? I didn't even introduce What's myself. Up, bro? How you doing? I'm really good. Tages, It's a pleasure. A pleasure. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So uh, what I was saying was, is like, okay, so, you know, you're, you're with your woman, right? And mm -hmm. I'm not even talking monogamy. I think I'm just talking relationship-wise, right? And mm -hmm. like women are, you know, they're like delicate flowers and you, and you, and you kind of open them up, right? And you open them up and you open them up and you experience them and you experience mm -hmm. their feminine gifts and their beauty and their laugh. But that's somebody else woman sometime, my brother. P pardon me? That's somebody else woman sometime. What do you mean? So what I'm saying is, if you not, if you not who you're supposed to be, and you opening up a woman, you open her up, and you open her up, and you, it's not authentic. Then you opening up somebody else's woman. Mm. You gotta think about mm. this element. So part of me taking my celibacy run was, it's not about if I can open them up or not. It's about, am I opening up minds? Am I getting in the way? Am mm. I having sex with somebody else, girl? 
am I breaking somebody else girl down and making her vulnerable and with no intention to really love her fully? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what it sounds like we're talking about. It sounds like we're talking about you love women, you like them, but... Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. If you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True. He is an ex-carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. You're not, you're not, you're not, you, you don't probably have the intention to love her all the way. Mm -hmm. You're enjoying her, but you're enjoying somebody else, woman. Mm, I hear that. I hear that. So then, so with, with that being said, with that being said, you know, because you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm 24 right what what would you share as advice for a man like myself you know what i mean like what what is your how would you go about things knowing that i think i think for me personally it's like i i like you said i enjoy women and um i think there's part of me is like i go but i don't go all the way you know what i mean but like my intention they only is open it up they only open it up cuz they think you're going all the way Mm. You see the catch? Mm. When they when they vibing with you, they're going, I'm gonna go ahead and be vulnerable because you are a good dude. Mm. And they going, they can see you a good dude, and they mm. want to get open, they gonna open, you're gonna work for it because you're interested. Mm. But it's like they thinking you want to be their real soulmate, they real man. Mm. And it's like, like you not really trying to be their real man. So what I'm saying is you you are unfolding somebody else woman. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 how about how about if I'm very clear with my intentions? You know what I mean? Okay. Like, if I'm okay. I'm clear with them, and they know where I'm at and where my intentions lie, and they're subscribing to that. You know they what I mean? Still opening up to you? Yeah. Have your fun. Okay. Then have your fun. Done. Simple. So. Then have your fun. <laughs> if they know. And you keeping it one thousand? One thousand. I'm one hundred percent keeping it one hundred. That's for sure. I'm not lying. I'm not capping. I'm not okay. faking. You and know what I mean? I know that for a fact. They get mad at you then. At some point, then they get mad at you because you don't want to be something you never said you was gonna be. Yeah. Oh, they nah, bro. They they they, they trying they trying to they trying to put that Jezebel pussy on you. They trying to make you. That means she had the idea that she was gonna consume you with her pussy. Yeah. She had the idea she was gonna give you some and turn you into somebody yeah. else and. You got the right to stand your ground, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that that's to be honest, that's been my situation. That's you been know your situation. I mean? Yeah. So they flip you out to be the bad guy, play victim. Yes, when I'm dumb clear about my yeah. intentions, like I, off the bat, off that's the bat. That's Jezebel style. Jezebel style. That's dirty. Yeah, nah. That means she's doing to you what most dudes have probably done to her, yeah. and now she's doing yeah. it to you, bro. Mm, 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 mm. That's happening to, what... to me. That happens, bro. Yeah. Because one thing about me, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this confidently and with conviction. Is I don't lie. I. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my commentary. I am revamping and re-uploading all of my videos so that I can meet the guidelines for YouTube. Uh, apparently, I need to do more commentary, which I'm certainly open to doing. And I love sharing my, you know, opinions on these videos and these situations that have to do with carbonation. I want to give a big shout out to all my new subscribers, to all my OGs and my ride or dies, my day ones. Y'all know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building. Thank y'all so much for y'all support. The channel is approaching a huge milestone of a thousand subs. Y'all be sure to drop me a comment, hit that like button, and share this video. I appreciate all the support, y'all. Thank you. No front. Like, I'm not putting in, I'm not. I'm not dishonest in the way I live my life. You know, I live my life the way I live my life, but I'm not dishonest living Good. my life. You know what Good. I mean? So, and you um, ain't yeah. No dreams when you get when you when you breaking them down, you ain't selling no dreams. Uh, uh no, nah. yeah, I, I, you know what? I definitely, <laughs> I definitely, yo, I, I gotta humble myself. I definitely think 
like I am certain things that I'm still working towards being, right? Okay. And it's almost like I'm not even aware that hey, I I got I got a gap to close, and then and then I have like an experience. And when I'm talking, you know, y'all were talking. Yeah, yeah. And so it's a and when y'all were talking, a genuine exactly. Exactly. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. When y'all were talking about like men being goose and shit, when I asked my question, I wasn't asking it on a big man, big man thing. Like I'm cheating on her. I'm lying to her. This or that. I'm talking about little things. You know, I'm talking about like, okay, so let me give you the scenario. Yeah. We subscribe. She subscribes to like, okay, um, we're going to have a good time. Right. And I, as I develop that relationship and that, um, that relationship with her, you know, she obviously opens up to me and whatnot. And then I, I mean this in such a, in such a, uh oh. I do, I just genuinely do something that was just foolish and turns her off, right? Mm. So, how do you navigate that? How do you go about that? Because it's almost like the flower is open and you've had it open and you do some stupid shit, right? And then it just closes, right? All right, now we're so, talk, we talking about. So, this is what we're talking about. Just say so everybody in the live keeping up. We're yeah. talking about. When you out here living a player life, you on your player shit. <laughs> and you on your player shit, you living a player life. The girls know you a player. They want to have a good time with a player. Yeah. All right. Then at some point, you do some shit they don't think is player. No, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, because the context you're speaking in, like you're talking about something that's a lot more serious. I'm talking about just relationship dynamics you know what i mean i'm talking about just like okay you're with your so i'm i'm gonna no, give you an look, example you you're with give an example one time bro. okay talk to me let me finish let me let me land yeah talk to me let me land all right this is what i'm saying bro i'm saying if you out here yeah. and you, you and you having sex with girls and you kicking it with them even mm. though you told them yeah i'm just kicking it it's just a good time you want some player shit in this moment now the thing is in the girl's mind She's having sex with you because you are like a fantasy at this point. So she like, yeah, I'm going to have sex with dude. We doing some player shit. Now the catch is, if she see you do some shit she don't think is player, then she can't have that imagination no more. The same thing with you. You know when you fornic you know when you just go to the club and you see a girl in a dress and you go, damn, I hit that tonight. She like a boss ass bitch. But you like the idea. It's a fantasy. <clears throat> now she don't have to tell you she's a boss ass bitch. But you feel this way, damn, she boss. I love this energy. You mm. might fornicate, you might just have sex with her, you might just, but then if you find out something about her, it might ruin your fantasy, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're talking about, bro. Wrong or right? Yeah. And, and you, you're saying how to get back to the fantasy after the truth been revealed. Mm -hmm. But they like the fantasy. When you just fucking around, that's about the fantasy. It ain't even about nothing real. Mm -hmm. It's about, about the idea. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about the same thing or not? No, no. Honestly, we were not. But I needed to hear that as well. I needed okay, to hear that. Talking about that. Yeah, yo, I'm, that's what it sounds. Talk, like yo, talking I'm talking. About. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. <clears throat> Let's hear it. This is what I'm saying. I'm talking like okay. You're you're with your woman, yeah. And you guys, so it's your know. woman, not no, not no. Is it your girl or or it's just your friend oh, that you fucking around oh with? Oh my clear. gosh, this Let's is too complex. You, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You right. Damn, <laughs> damn. Okay, I'm talking. I'm talking. Damn, damn, bro. I, I talked to you. I'm like, yo, I I gotta get off this call and do my due diligence. You know what I mean? I feel like an idiot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at least I'm giving it real out here, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so so this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, okay? I'm saying, I'm I'm tell I'm t I'm talking about you, okay? And I want to hear what you would do, okay? So you're with your one of your wives, yeah? All right, so this and, is and somebody I'm be dealing with. Yeah, exactly. So y'all y'all having a walk down uh the, the what uh, down Venice Beach, okay. right? And maybe you get you at you do something where you Maybe you get, she does something and you get mad at her and you get over, you get a little bit too aggressive, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you really, you, blew you, it you out come of back to me like I was out of pocket, right? Yeah, you blew it out of proportion. Exactly. So 
how would you navigate that? How would you go about that? I'm so curious. You know what I mean? Like you know that you were at fault. You know that you could have you could have gone about that better. So she was um, at and, fault, and then you you blew it out of proportion. Sure, sure. That's yeah. a scenario though. That's she's a scenario. doing something out. She's doing something out of pocket. Yeah. But you you feel like you're not handling it in, in the best way. Yeah. And then yes. when you don't, and then when you don't handle that in the best way, then she turn off on you. Oh my gosh! No! 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 I mean, like, <sighs> you trying to hide the truth, bro? Just drop the sign, bro. Yeah, yo, drop, I, the, I'm, real, I'm, drop I'm, the real scenario for the everybody in the live. Yeah, yeah. You want to know the real scenario? Yo, to be to be honest, to be honest, I feel like as I'm having this conversation, I'm realizing I'm not setting as much of a frame as I should be setting with my women. You know what I mean? Okay. Does that okay. make sense? So yeah. because because my frame is not there, there there are frames being created in the air there whenever they want to be created. So we don't right. even know where we are. But as a man, you supposed to set the you supposed to make it clear. Fact. That's part I of totally your agree. job. I'm, you got to be yeah. clear. Fact. To be honest, I'm fully at fault. I take but, full but you don't want to be clear because you get some advantage out of not being clear and what is that advantage you like you getting you getting extra boyfriend treatment sometime you <laughs> think, you know, <laughs> <it's okay. laughs> let's keep it 100 yo this guy this guy yo i got my friends in this chat man <laughs> <laughs> yo Oh my gosh, you got me, man. You got me. You, you got me when I didn't even know myself, you know? Damn, yo. Damn, you got me, bro. You got me. I, I have no words, to be honest. Man, I appreciate you, brother, man. Absolutely. I hope that, you know, I inspired at least somebody. You oh, know, no, I you inspired, you're inspiring people just with the courage to even be vulnerable and be open and have the dialogue. It's inspiring people and it's mm -hmm. healing. People are healing watching this. Mm. And, you know, no, nah, nah, bro, come on, man. You highly appreciate it. Mm. Thank you so much, brother. And, and yo, likewise, like, man, if there's one thing I took from today, it's that I need to have more strength in my frame, you know, in the frame that I'm setting with uh, the women that I'm with. So, uh, bro, you are doing amazing things right now. Thank you so much for your time. And, yo, thank you. Thank you for showing love, man. Thank you for replying to my messages. Thank you for letting me get on the call. You're looking good as always. Take care of yourself, looking healthy, brother. It's always Thank a you, pleasure. Brother. Okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate All you. All right. Being. Lots of love, brother. Take care All of yourself. Right. Peace. Yeah, we still here. So, you know, we still here. Anybody want to go live, send a request? Anybody got a conversation on the subject? King. What up, gang? Talk to me. You saw the live? Yeah, I could. For some reason, I couldn't hear it. Oh damn! I, I heard like it was it was low. But I, I, like the last part I heard was he talking about his frame. And, uh, I don't know. I guess he's trying to be a better leader. Stuff like stuff of that nature. Right, right. Yeah, you know, man. You know, you know, steel sharper steel. So he getting the clear vision, and you know, one day at a time. Facts. I think, like you just said, you said, uh, it's God, then it's man, and it's woman. Then you know what I mean? God. Child. I hear you. Then child, right? Then child. It's order in, right. in this world. It's order. Yeah, there he goes again with that man, woman, and then child, and it's order. Well, God, man, woman, and child, then it's order. I get that. Again, I definitely accept that, you know, ideal. I get it. However, I do not believe that there's a hierarchy between the man and the woman because it should truly be a partnership, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Others may view it a different way. I'm not saying that the man isn't supposed to lead. Absolutely, he's supposed to lead. And the woman is supposed to be there to support his leadership. However, it's still very much a partnership. Right. But then, you, you know, this feminism movement going on, uh, it's all type of uh, uh, 
a devil uh, a cult stuff that they push in agendas and they no order. So uh You know this old girl earlier in the live, she said um she learned about twin flames from Zeus and all this. Did you hear that? Right. Twin flames, right, the right, the bullshit. You know what right. I mean? Right. And, yeah, I, I ain't I ain't been able to uh, hear everything. I've been hearing bits and pieces. But uh, oh, okay. definitely build it. Definitely get somewhere. Right. For sure.